Would we ever recover from this fever that Whiskey has been spreading? We too are Savage being the video vixen in that video. Okay, so the weekend is here again. And as usual, your favorite show, Instrument Splash, is right here to help you get it started. In grand style, check time, and then you'd know that it is a few minutes downside 1 p.m. You know how we do it, whether it's the weekend or a weekday. We keep the party rocking from 1 to 2 p.m. And today's show is packed with all all the ingredients that you need to kickstart your weekend as the edition will give you all that and more. So to experience this firsthand, you can tweet to us at TVC Connect or watch us live on www.tvcontinental.tv. Then you can also call us on the show with the numbers showing on your screens right about now. My name is Honeypot. Let's find out what is happening in the entertainment world. And we'll be taking it from the top. Now, where do we start? We start with Debanj. All right, so Debanj Inc.'s deal with with Sony Music Africa, Nigerian musician, CEO of DB Records, Debanj, uh, you know, assigned a fresh deal with international record label, Sony Music Africa. This will, however, be the second time Debanj will be signing for the label after their first deal in 2012. The Coco Master, who recently pushed back the release of his now singles, is currently in South Africa, where the deal was sealed by both parties. Now, still on Nigerian artists doing big things out there. Nigerian singers Simi and Wandeko are set to deliver the African vibe in the UK this weekend as they host their headline concerts on the same day. Superstar singer and songwriter Wandeko will bring a supersonic voice and catalog of hits to the Indigo O2 Arena, which is almost a 3,000 capacity. Now, while further down North London on the same day, Simi will be holding a concert at the O2 Academy, yeah, one day call to Life in Concerts, which will be hosted by comedian Basket Mouse and will feature special guests like Malik Berry, Little Boys, and many more. Now, moving on, on the downside, Nigerian singer Techno is currently ill and has therefore cancelled the rest of his shows for the festive season to receive proper care from his doctors. Now, Techno took to his Instagram page to share the details saying, I have been away and on treatment. Please don't be upset that I can't make it to shows I have been booked for. I am taking time out to fully recover and hopefully get back to doing what I love soonest. I apologize. And if you can, please pray for me. God watch over us all thank you from all of us right here on ncm splash our thoughts and prayers are with you as we wish you a complete and restful recovery and now finally on the foreign scene american actress gabriel union and american basketball star Dwayne wade have welcomed a miracle baby girl now the actress shared a post on our instagram page announcing the birth of you know the new baby to the family who was delivered you know via surrogate saying a lovely day we are sleepless and actually delirious but so excited to share that our miracle baby arrived last night via surrogate and 11 7 will forever be etched in our hearts as the most lovely of all the lovely days. All right, congratulations to the couple. That's all, guys, on Instrument Updates. Keep it locked right here because you know what? The show continues, and our guest today, you know, will be taking the couch just in a bit. All right, our guests today are a bunch of talent from the diaspora, and you definitely love to experience. Yeah, we kick off with a show with our first guest, and he's an international actor who's based in Spain, a multi-talented vocalist and songwriter. Now, he will be talking to us about his journey and much more. So, hi, JP Clean. So I was wondering, like, Clean, like, how did you even get your name? How did you come about your name? Yeah, JP Clean is just like um, JP Clean and The Clean. That is Johnson Production Clean. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now, you don't even sound like somebody who is Nigerian at all. No, I'm really Nigerian, but I was being born and raised up in Cameroon, then uh, started the journey from Cameroon to Nigeria. Nigeria, left over Nigeria to Spain. Interesting stuff. So what is your real name? My real name is Johnson Upo. Upo. Johnson. Yeah. So you're from? 
I'm a Nigerian from Ebony State. From Ebony State. I yeah. really wanted to get that so that people <laughs> who are watching would know. All right. So I know that um, a lot of um, artists come in from, you know, the abroad, like the yeah. abroad gen. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> it's just the parlance here, you know. <laughs> it is not good English. <laughs> okay. So they come in and then they come back to Nigeria. Mm. And I really wonder, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not wondering, like, uh, what is it that we're doing? Because I know that we are all over the place. By the way, did you see Panama? My band performed Burner Boy's uh, song. Yeah, I think I saw it on the internet, but I didn't follow it up. Okay, you need to see it. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right, so I know that Nigerians are doing greatly. And why is it that you're back in Nigeria? Yeah, I'm back in Nigeria to promote my music because I've started music a long time. But um, due to the situation of Nigeria, you know, when you start in music early stage, your father is like, you don't have to do music. They want you to reach something else. Yeah. You know, they want you to become a lawyer, a doctor, or something. I've been beaten many times for music, but I never gave up to it. And doing music abroad is different, like you doing it right down in Nigeria, because it's very different. Because the, the music system over there is different from. Nigeria, the Nigerian system. So the beats they give you here is different from the beats we have over there. So are you here for the beats? Yeah, I'm here for the beat and to do something crazy in Nigeria right now. So have you been networking? Have you been meeting people? Who yeah, I've met, so many met? I've met so many people. I've Some met of those people that you've met. Many artists, because right now I'm really working on other tracks with Delby. Um, I have other big artists I want to, which I'm not going to say on the show right now. Okay. And that is something else different and which will be coming up later. Okay, so sometimes people think that, or maybe it is what it is, that the music industry in Nigeria is actually saturated, like everybody wants to sing. And I really wonder if you think that you would find a place for yourself in this industry. Yes, of course, because I've um, gone to all what I've seen on the internet. I think um, I have a place in the Nigerian music industry. From what you've seen on From the internet? From what I've seen and what I've really gone through to the Nigerian industry, yeah. Just meant for you to like give them what they want. And that so is all. So what's your there. niche? What's so, what music do you do? I really do um, Afro hip hop, and I see have uh, the uh, Afro flamenco, which is the what's Afro flamenco? That's a fusion of the Spanish and the Nigerian fusion. That would be very new to yeah, us. Yeah, that's here. a new thing I want to bring into the Nigerian system. Okay, let's see if we would accept it. <laughs> it's all, all about right. the music anyway. <laughs> okay, now you talked about internet, mm. and I know that a lot of artists abroad in the diaspora actually pay celebrities here in Nigeria to help them, you know, maybe dance to their song or, you know, just react to the songs and write them. In, on Instagram, you see a lot of people, you know, doing a, a bit of video recording it mm -hmm. of a certain song just to promote or help. Why is it that you guys depend on celebrities to do that for you? Well, I wouldn't really say um, we all depend on them. It depends on wh what you think can work for you, actually. Okay. Like me, I don't believe in that. I believe in your own creativity and what you have to offer to people. So you have never actually no, asked anybody paid, to no. do that for you? I've not paid. If I want somebody to dance for me, then I have to make my own show, come to my show, then you dance to it. If you really like it, if you think you really like what, you, what I'm doing, then you can support me to it. Okay, so I know that you have a video. Yeah. All right, what's the title of your video? That's Malaga. All right, so would you introduce your video and then would... Uh, Played. Of course. Yes. All right, so introduce. introduce. Um, the video actually was being shot right down in Lagos. I wrote the song from Spain, came down to Nigeria to do it, because when you write a song, you come down to Nigeria, your producer, your director tells you, now no, you have to, you have a, another pattern of doing it here. Okay. You know, so I had to like change. It was supposed actually to be Alaga. Okay. So that I now. Malaga. Malaga. So Malaga. So what? Because I'm in Malaga, so I had to take it back to Malaga. Let's do it in Nigeria and Malaga, Nigeria and Spain together. All right. So what's your Twitter handle? What are your handles on social media platforms? Yeah, my handles on I'm on IG. I am JP Clean. Then my Facebook, I have two Facebook actually, because okay. I guess okay. I'm JP Clean on one. And one I'm Johnny Johnny on one. Okay. And my Twitter is JJP Clean. All right. Well, wish you the very best. All right. Now let's go watch your video. And then we'll be back. All right, yeah. now thank you. I'm a bona fairly. Ah, I'm a bona fairly. Eh? Hey. <laughs> we love Burner Boy, and that song is just bliss.
blazing red hot to right here. Like I have mentioned that uh, like how many times, 1001, and we are just enjoying Burner Boy. You know, Burner Boy is one person I love so much. Like I believe in so much. So it is like Burner Boy to the world. Like it's fully blown. <laughs> it's international. All right, now still an artist from the diaspora. Our second guest is an Adrian US based artist. He has performed with likes of 50 Cent, Justin Bieber, and other international artists. And he's right here in the studios. Hello, Crown Zuby. What's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, okay, so, so it is a very naughty person. Since he got here, he's been trying a lot of stuff, saying that we should serve him wine. And I'm like, okay, we're going to think about it. Like the next time people come on this couch, well, maybe we'll be drinking wine. And then he said, turn off the lights. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> so that's getting to another level you know, entirely. You know. Would you like to watch a show like that? I'm just wondering. Why not? Who wouldn't like the show like that? Who wouldn't like the show yeah, like that? You know. Okay, so what's this hairstyle called? I see that it's just one dropping and then you uh, have yeah. this. Uh... First of all, I want to say this, uh, this is all my real hair, no attachments. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called a crown braid. The crown braid? Yeah, it takes a little time and patience to grow it, but you know, I got it. Okay, the only crown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I know that he's a very interesting person and we're going to be having a great time yeah. with him. Eh? We just want to get to know you and want okay. to know the reason you are in Nigeria because, you know, I don't know if people can actually hear you. So tone down the accent if you can. Oh, it's too, can, it's too much? Can, can you speak the Nigerian English? Oh, see, look, I would try my best. Okay. So let me just keep it like... Yes. Best. Best. Try. Okay. All right, so how many tattoos do you have on your body? I have like... 40 tattoos. 40? Yeah, 40. So, so the one here, what does it mean? What is it? Um, this one is put God first on the, on the side, uh, musical notes. Okay. Because I like music, so and the dis uh, different arrangements and, okay. and, and such. Interesting stuff. All right, so tell me about your parents. Are they typical African parents who raised their kids in the U.S. and who wouldn't even allow you do certain stuff? Oh, of course, of course. Um, my mom and dad, um, we're, we're all the kids, we're all born in the U.S. Okay. So we're born and raised in the U.S. We went to school in the U.S. So, um, of course, they like my dad, as far as music, he, he didn't like it at all <laughs> but you know that's that's what we do like that's what i got into back there my mom is all for it she loves it she's like oh that's my baby he's talented yeah, i love it. you know so it's a little different with my mom but my dad is kind of more strict when it comes to that you know education and, and and um school is more important for him okay so yeah so i got a lot of in trouble with my dad a lot growing up okay that. so have you been coming to nigeria before now this is my first time coming to Nigeria. First time ever. Yeah, let me, let me tell you, I'm the only one that has not came with all my siblings. Oh, really? I'm the only, because I was so in, in the, I was in the streets a lot in U.S. Okay. So I'm always, I was always busy. So when it came time to go, I was like, ah, I'm busy, I'm busy. And you know. So what's the experience? Have you eaten some Nigerian foods that you've never even tasted before? Nigerian food in the U.S. is different than Nigerian food in Nigeria. Okay. It's different. So the one in Nigeria that you have tasted, do you, did you enjoy? Yes, but they use too much pepper. Too much pepper here. <laughs> like too too much pepper. Uh, okay. Every time everything I eat, this comes down. Oh but my! Like, oh, it's okay. I'm like it's just like. But do you like the Nigerian jollof rice? No, that's good. Jollof rice is good, but I like fried rice better than jollof rice. Better, though. okay, yeah, interesting. But, you know. uh, okay, so let's talk about your music. What sort of music do you do? I do, I say I do music from the heart. I really don't have a particular style. I do any t type of style. I just put whatever my spirit tells me to put onto the but beat. But do you think that would fly in this, I mean, <laughs> just doing any type of music? Well, okay, no, like of course, when in Rome, you act like the Rome. So I, I, I always adapt to my surroundings. So where so exactly like are you in Nigeria? Well, you know, I'm you here, my family, when I got here, they were like, ah, oh, they didn't want me to leave. They all just gathered around me and hugged me. They were like, don't leave. So I kind of felt like, okay, let me just spend, since I've been gone my entire life, let me spend time okay. here. So, but I'm a musician. I'm, I have to work. I have to, uh, uh, you know, put out my music, what I feel. So I started. So is this what you do full time? Yeah. Full time, yeah. even in the U.S. In the U.S. Are you cashing out? Yeah, uh, I could listen up. But um, you know, before I came, I had did a big concert before I came here. Okay. So and it was it did really well, like you know, and it was just something 
that we did overnight, like maybe 3,000 people showed up. Okay. And it, so. Oh, interesting. Congratulations. Yeah. I think that's, I mean, it's, it's a feat. Uh, it's a big yeah. feat. Yeah. All right. So tell me your experience with, uh, you know, Justin Bieber, uh, working with those people that we mentioned in our intro. Okay. Well, um, I was in Hollywood. I was a part of a writing team with Sony. Okay. So I did a couple of uh, songs that I wrote for, for uh, Bieber and, um, and, and Chris, actually Chris, mainly Chris. And Jeremiah, I did... Um, a concert with Jeremiah not too long ago, actually, and everybody's cool. You know, everybody vibes. We just, we okay, just so, so, so do you think that your name would be uh, that name that we just hear, Crown Zuby, and it would be one of those names that's you know a very popular? Yeah, to say. it has a ring to it. See, Crown Zuby. Crown. Can't you hear, can't you hear it? It's just, where, where? <laughs> All right, so I know that you have a video and then you want to talk about your video. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what's the title of your video? It's called Get to Know You. Okay. Um, it's a song that I wrote before I came here. And actually, the, the person that I was writing it for or wrote it with had actually passed away when I was here in oh, Nigeria. I am so sorry. Yeah, about so that. it was, it was kind of crazy. And um, so I promised I was going to put the song out for her. Oh. And, um, and I promised her family that too. So who's so, that person, your girlfriend? No, she was a good friend. She was a really, she's a girl, but she was a very, very good friend. Like, very, had, very good friend. Good, good, good friend. Good friend, good. okay. I, I was wondering, like yeah. a very, very good friend. <laughs> no, no, good. I'm sorry about sorry. my accent. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, oh wow, oh, whoa, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you know what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> okay, so tell me, do, do, do you speak, where exactly are you from? A Chicago area. No, here in Nigeria. Are you Yoruba? Are you Hausa? Are you Igbo? Everybody want to know that. Should I? So, so tell me. Just tell me. Well, you know, from the, from the east, I'm east side. That's Igbo, right? Yes. You better own it. Yes. 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 yes, yes okay, yes. I sit down very well. <laughs> <laughs> so you are Igbo from Anambra, Imo. Ana and Anambra. Anambra State. Yeah. So where exactly in Anambra? I, get, you, I see how you. <laughs> this I am girl, tired. This girl, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, tell me where exactly in Anambra State? Arkidja. I even know where you're from. I've been there. I'm not from that place, but I've been there. Ah, no, uh, you know, huh? so, 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 can, can you speak anything in Anambra? Do you, do you understand Igbo? I can, you know, my, my mom would not, my mom has been in the U.S. for 30 years. She would not let her accent go or her language. She spoke the language to me all the time, so I can hear it but you better can speak than it. the But then, yeah. can you greet? Like, yeah, Kedu. Kedu. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I yeah. tried. Is that the only thing? Like Kedu. See now, you're not, that's that's no. what I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to give you. I know oh, wow. more. Yeah. That's what. I, that's all I'm going. to You know, anything else you <laughs> have to pay me. <laughs> look at you. Me. I see you can even speak it. I can even speak your language better than you. Oh, okay. Oh, look oh, at you. Oh, a, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now, say. So, I mean, we're going to we're going to watch your video okay. right now, and then you want to tell people how they can get in touch with you on Twitter, on Instagram, and Facebook. Just yeah, anywhere. yeah. Follow my new IG page. It's at Crown Zuby, C R O W N E D Z U B I E. So, yeah, it, Twitter is the same. So, everybody follow me. Okay. Everybody. Please, YouTube, everybody follow YouTube, him. YouTube, yeah, YouTube. because I thought I heard everybody followed me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much, Crown Zuby, okay. for coming on the show today. It's been so wonderful uh, talking to you. Like, I could just sit down with you and be talking to you from now till forever. Uh, You're yeah. such an interesting person, I must say. All right, love. now. So, we wish you the very best. All the best. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. And the show continues. It is still Instagram Splash, obviously. And, well, we still have so much more for you. If only you stay here with us. So, you know, music just as a special way of putting you in the right mode, right? And yes, we've had a very great time with you this weekend. It's sure going to be lit as always. That's the show for today. And before we say the final bye bye, wait. Hold on. This is it. We are saying we're giving a shout out to City Q, who was supposed to be here on the show like earlier. But then we rounded off the show and he just showed up in the studio. Like right now is in the studio, but the show is over. Then we have him some other time or something. City Q is in the studio, actually. All right, so maybe you should say hi to everybody so that you know what I'm talking about. Go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> so you know, when we plan shows for you, we have a, a, always a special package for you. And then we were thinking, oh, what's wrong with him? But I guess it was actually just caught up in some traffic right there in Lagos. But it's okay. We would always have him some other time. Uh huh. He's always a good sport like that. Hey. <laughs> This is your uniform now, wow. <laughs> How is it going? Fine, fine. Uh, have a seat. All right, so I know that you just had a press conference, right? Yes. So what's that about, like in one sentence? Yeah, basically it's uh, for my album that's coming up next week, Friday. Okay. That's it. Well done, CDQ. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, and so... I'm, uh, very, I'm very sorry for coming late. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you, I'm sure you would uh, make it up to us, right? For sure, You'll for be sure. back. Yeah, sure. Okay, interesting stuff. All right, so he said he will be back already. Yeah, and I want to say a very happy birthday to everyone celebrating today, especially our own Labi Olayori. We say happy birthday to you. We really love you, and we do hope that you'd have a beautiful year ahead. It's been an estimate splash. Most definitely, it will return next week. Have an amazing weekend. My name is Honeypot.